welcome back. We have a question from one of our viewers, Loretta. She says, my burning question, dearest Bridget, is how to eliminate the overwhelm deriving from having to create all the foundation aspects of working online, even after having hired hundreds of coaches and helpers, it is still a huge undertaking. Just that. Thank you. And thank you. Okay. Great question. And okay. So the first thing I want to do is start off with making money online gets to be easy. Making money gets to be easy. What if it wasn't so hard? What, like why, I, I wonder why does it have to be a massive undertaking? Like just that, that first, that mindset shift from the start, I'm, I'm already questioning like, wait a second, why does it have to be hard? Why does it have to be overwhelming? It doesn't have to be. And one of the things I found with growing my business and as I scaled a, a seven figures, one million, is that the more I simplify my business, the more money I make, the easier it is for me to sign on clients, and the more fun I have. So if you're doing so much and it doesn't really feel like you're moving the needle forward, that can be overwhelming and that can lead to a lot of burnout. So let's just break down the foundations that you need in your business. So the first thing that you need is you need an audience. You need an audience. And this is just one of the foundations, but you need people watching you. So just go ahead and decide on your platform. Where is it going to be? TikTok, Facebook groups, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, podcasting. Where is your audience going to be? Then you have to start creating content. Now, if you're like, oi, oi, oi. Making content is a chore. That's a mindset queen. And you get to shift that. Making content is not a chore. But I do understand where you, what, you, what you're what you saying. Because I used to think like, oh, Lord, have mercy. I could only make three pieces of content this week. And that's all I could do. It's this, But building a business is like any skill. It's like going to the gym, right? I, You know, right now I'm doing three days a week with my personal trainer. And flex my muscle right now. And it's like, okay, well, if I went seven days a week, that would probably be a big jump, right? So why in your business are you expecting yourself to show up seven days a week on Instagram if you can't even show up once? So first of all, like, we just need to get our priorities right. Don't expect yourself to be there when you're not there yet. Enjoy the journey of where you're at. And if you can only show up X amount of times on social media, show up for those amount of times. It probably isn't working for you. It's because you're overcomplicating it and you're expecting yourself to do something that some other person's entrepreneur is doing, but that's because they've already put in their reps. They've already done the work. That works for them. The next thing with content, which should be your main focus in building your company, is making it easy for yourself, right? So even right now while I'm recording this, I'm recording it on my laptop, on photo booth on my Mac, I have the podcast mic in front of me, and so I'm going to split this content into two pieces of content, podcast and YouTube. Maybe I'm even thinking about starting to hold up my phone and record these and start turning them into TikToks. So it's like, how can you simplify your content creation? Why does it take you so long to make content? It should not. When you are just embodying you, and you feel like your voice is important, all you have to do, Queen, is press record right? All you have to do is press record because it's not that it has to be perfectly documented. It's not that you have to look a certain way or that you have to have the best hook. All you're doing, holding up your camera, press record, boom, let's go. But here's the thing. You got to love yourself. You got to love who you are. You got to be confident enough to press record and put that video up there and then put 10 more up there and just go balls to the wall and just start recording and recording and recording and uploading until you learn how to make good content. I saw this one guy on TikTok. He was being interviewed. He has millions of followers on TikTok. Someone asked him, they said, how did, how do you get, excuse me. They said, how do you go viral and grow on TikTok? He said, Go post 700 videos, then you'll know. And I love that because it's like people want the quick fix. They want the easy way. But it's like go do, go show up. 
go do it and then you'll find out how to simplify. Now, obviously, you got to be aware. You can't just throw up 700 videos and then be like, ah, it didn't work, right? You got to be aware. You got to reflect. You got to look back. What's going on? What's working? What's not working? Let me learn from this. Okay, that video tanked. So let me try this type of content. Okay, people don't like with this lighting. Let me try this lighting, right? So it's always tweaking. Audit, optimize, and explode. So with content, if content is taking you forever, you don't, you're not owning who you are. If content is taking you forever, you are not owning who you are. Because if you owned who you were, you would not care what other people think. You would just press record and you would post it. And you would get it out there. So I just want you to take a look at yourself and say, where am I blocking myself with content? Where can I stop being such a perfectionist and just start showing up as a human being, press record and let it out to my audience? Especially if you're on some of these platforms that it's just really, you know, it doesn't have to be aesthetically pleasing. You can just put it out there, right? So the biggest thing, like I said, the foundations of making it easier, simplifying is you got to have an audience. And so how do you build an audience by creating content? How do you create content by being yourself, by literally pressing record and going? That's it. And it's going to be cringe. Oh my God. You guys, let it be cringe. Let your content suck. Even some of my content today just tanks. I'm like, all right, well, I liked it. You know why? Because I love me. So do you love you? Do you love yourself enough to make a piece of content and then it gets, it gets deleted? Or only your mom likes it. <laughs> and you're like, gosh dang it. What happened here? I thought more people were going to like this. And it's just you and your mom. Like, do you love yourself enough for that to be okay? If you're just relying on everyone else to go like your post and buy from your post, you're never going to be happy. So start creating content from a place of, I'm just going to show up online as me. Creating content is like walking into a party. I think of social media like they're just a bunch of parties. And I'm like hopping on them and I'm like, hey guys, what's happening here? And I'm actually extremely shy and introverted sometimes when I'm in social settings. I can be so weird in person sometimes. This is why I love online marketing because it's just like you can, I feel like, whatever. I'm not going to go into that route. But basically social media pro profiles are like parties. Walk in there, show off your weird freaky self. And people want to see the weird these days. A lot of the platforms are moving away from aesthetics. They're moving away from having to be perfect. And they want to see real humans. So go make your content easy. So to, to go back to Loretta's original question of like, how do I simplify? How do I, this massive undertaking? I'm like, what do, what do you mean massive undertaking? Like this is, it's not hard, right? And, and all, I know all of the excuses are going to come up. I know all of the things. Well, I don't have experience. Well, I, I have this going on in my life. Well, I, I, all of the things. It's just like, let's just allow it to not be a massive undertaking. I used to think social media and TikTok, I hated TikTok. And now I'm like, oh my God, this is the motherland. Like, if you're not on TikTok, I'm like, get your ass over on TikTok because it is where it's, it is happening over there. <laughs> but it's like, it's not a massive undertaking. It's not, a, it's not a lot. And I guarantee that somewhere in your business, you are making it a lot and doesn't have to be that way. So if, so you need social media, you need to get in front of people and then you need offers. You need something, you need a product, you need something to sell them. So if you're someone like me and you're, you're, you're really artistic and you're creative and you like to generate things, you like to create, I like to create things that are bringing in reoccurring income. So for example, my membership has been one of the most fun things I've ever created. There's 80 people inside of it. It's absolutely amazing. And I, I love it I'm, because it, it allows me to create and bring on new clients every single month and bring in reoccurring income and it's scalable. People enjoy the Make My Membership and then they want to join something else. So maybe if your offers are just draining the shit out of you, maybe you need a new type of offer. <laughs> maybe you need a membership. Maybe you don't need a membership and you need passive income. So in January of this year, I said, I'm going to move away from live coaching. And for three months, I did, I'd say 90% of my income was passive income. For three months, January, February, March, no, four months, April. And so for four months, I just got to do passive income. I did so much traveling. I had a lot of, my friend was getting married. I had my mom came visit me in Costa Rica. My cousins came, you know, it was like all of the things. And I just knew I did not want to do live coaching while all of that was happening. 
So I shifted my business to just be passive income and I just sold that. I didn't try and sell other things. I just sold that. So if something's overwhelming you, maybe it's your offer. Like, are you still just doing one-to-one -one coaching and it's like, wah, wah, that's boring. Or maybe you're doing passive income and you're so sick and tired of passive income because I, I don't like just passive income. Like, I don't, also, nothing is purely passive unless you're like, <laughs> the, the only things, I mean, honestly, almost everything is going to have require some sort of effort. Everything, right? So it's like, what type of offers do you want to provide to your audience? What type of, what experiences do you want to have? How can you make it easier? And I'm always reevaluating. So for example, in June of this year of 2022, I was like, wait, I get a lot of value out of just Voxel coaching, if not more than getting on a call with someone. And so I thought, why don't I offer private coaching where it's just Voxer? And I sold so many freaking just boxer coachings. It was, it was insane. So where can you, where can you shift your offers so that there's something that you love and gives you energy and is more fun and then let all the other things go. So for example, I'm not even selling anything passive. Well, kind of, I'm not really, I'm not sharing any of my courses that are passive right now because I don't want to do that. What I want to sell right now is my membership because that's fun to me and my and my four week program and my masterminds. And that's fun to me. The only time I find that something is overwhelming or it feels like a massive undertaking is because it's it's not in alignment. It's not what I want to be doing. And there are no rules, Queen. You get to make your own business how you want to make it. Sell what you want to sell. Charge what you want to charge. You know, make it easy. Make it fun. And then just go on social media and press record. It really is that simple. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm just going to keep preaching it. It is that simple. Okay, Queen. I love answering this question. If you have a burning question as well, like Queen Loretta did, and you want to ask, you can reply to our emails. You can comment on our YouTube channel. You can send me a DM on Instagram. And what we do is we take all of your questions and we put them in a document. And then we make sure that I answer all of them and on YouTube and podcast videos. All right. Queen, I will see you in the vortex and go out there and make everything simple in your business and, and have the time of your life. Okay, bye, Queen.